Hello, I'm Chef Lance Youngs with John Souls Foods. Today we're going to take a few minutes just to show you how to make a quick and easy stir fry featuring our Angus beef steak, which is a thinly sliced beef, uh, fully cooked and prepared. So this is a real quick dish for you to make. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is the order of addition of the vegetables. The onions, the bell peppers, and the carrots need to be added first because they'll take the longest to cook. So we're going to start with the onions first, okay? And we'll go ahead and go with the bell peppers as well. All three of these can go in at the same time. I had preheated the skillet and added a little bit of oil. A little canola oil is fine. The majority of the flavor of this dish will come from the stir fry sauce that we're going to add at the very end when we get done tossing things together. The great thing about a uh, stir fry is the vegetables are bright, they're crisp, you don't lose a lot of the nutrients, so it's a very healthy way to eat it also. Now we'll add the carrots. Let these cook for just a couple minutes. And then once these begin to soften a little bit, then we'll add the garlic. You don't want to add the garlic first because that might have a tendency to burn a little bit. And when the garlic burns, that has a tendency to get bitter, and that's not what we're looking for in this dish at all. It should be nice, smooth, even flavors. Okay, now next we're going to add the beef. Once again, the beef is already fully cooked, so at this point all we're looking to do is heat the items all the way through. You can see this is a really pretty dish. There's a lot of really vibrant colors in here. Good eye appeal. People always eat with their eyes before they eat with their mouth. Next we'll add the snow peas. Give this a quick toss. It's already starting to smell good. We haven't even added the sauce yet. And then the broccoli goes in last because it's the most tender of the vegetables. Little florets have a tendency to break up when they get overcooked. So you're truly just warming those to a point. Everything's coming together quite nice. We're going to let this cook for just a minute more. And this is a prepared stir-fry sauce. There's several varieties out there on the shelf in the marketplace. You can just find whichever one you like the most. We'll let all this simmer together, toss it a couple more times. Make sure everything's evenly coated. The sauce is really the vehicle for flavor in this dish. Everything's come together quite nice there. And we'll go to the plate. Quick, easy, colorful, nutritious. A side of white rice or brown rice alongside would be a great accompaniment to it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching the video today. We hope it was helpful. And if you'd like to see any other cooking tips or check out some of our other recipes, please visit the website at johnsoulsfoods.com.